Would you rather punch a pilgrim or eat an avocado? What fucking kind of question is this? Fuck that. I'm not answering that one. Where's my... There it is. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Righteous High Five, and welcome back to finally yet another installment of Would You Rather. It's been a long time since I played this one. My dog's outside, and I swore I just saw her run by. And I have been dying to get back into this one. Um, I'm not going to do the habanero challenge because two reasons. One, I forgot to buy them. And two, the ones that I did have were starting to turn black. I don't think that means they're good. Okay, anyways. So, let's see. What's the first question for the night? Would you rather be sent into space without enough oxygen... Or be thrown naked. Uh, really? Really? I mean, think about it. I've seen a pit before. And I've seen scorpions. And. If I'm thrown into them, they're most likely gonna sting and I'm gonna die and see. You know, I'm just gonna. But if I get to sent to space with not enough. It says without enough oxygen. You're still gonna get there. You're still gonna have a little bit of time to soak in the beauty, the glory, and then also be known as the fucker who got sent to space and died. So, yep. That's what I thought. Yeah. I mean, really? Why? Oh, because it. Whatever. If you could choose an age to stay forever, would you rather be 21 or be 10? That's a tough question. And it may not seem like it at first. Yeah, sure, if you're 10 forever, you're gonna have like the whole Twilight colon bullshit where you're just gonna have to constantly move and... My camera's fucking up. And repeat school constantly, but... You... You're, you're not gonna be judged. I mean, granted, the things that kids can do are being more, are being accepted more and more for the adults as well. Hence why, you know, a lot of us adults who are still playing games are just fine with it because it's, that, that's what we grew up with. That's what we are. So, but I like my alcohol too much, so that, that's, the argument's done. 21. Yeah. Yeah. I like my, I like my beer. Okay. Would you rather be featured on the show Bridezilla's or be featured on the show What Not to Wear? Okay, couple things. One, I deal with brides all the time. I have yet to meet a bridezilla. I usually have to deal with either the mother of the bride, the bride of the groom, or, or the bride of the groom? Jesus, fuck. The mother of the groom or the best man. That's usually the worst ones. It's never usually ever the bride where, where I work. Um, but I don't know what not to wear is, so I'm just gonna do that one. Okay, sure. Why not? I, I have no idea what that is. Okay. Would you- Oh, fuck no. Oh. I always- you know, people always come up with tortures at work all the time when we're bored and we're just like, why'd you do this? Like, take a cheese grater to the skin or blah, blah, blah. And, and I'm always like, no, dude, I would so totally make them put a toothpick under their toenail and like, make them kick a wall. Hide your mama. Or have paper cuts all over your body and jump into a pool of lemon juice. That would suck too, but that is like full body excruciating pain. This is singularity. This is like, I'm not going to black out from the pain and just drown, probably. Or somebody's going to swim in and save me, and then I'm going to be inoculated and take care of it. I, I don't know. Because I really don't like the idea of a toothpick under a toenail kicking a wall. Thank you. I just... Would you rather see blurry all the time or see in black and white? Well... I drink a lot, so I'm used I'm used to seeing them blurry, but I think I'd rather see black and white because I could still do my job. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Would you rather eat only salad for the rest of your life or eat only fruits for the rest of your life? Now hold on. 
There, there's a lot to consider in this. Because if I'm doing a salad, does that mean potato salad? Chicken salad? Or like a Caesar salad? Or chicken Caesar salad? Toss salad? Don't read in that. Uh, chef salad? I mean, is it just like salads in general? Or, and, and, and fruits? I mean, can you do a fruit salad? Ooh. Um, and do I get dressing? Or do I not? Because I really like fucking garlic vinaigrette. Oh my god. So fucking good. Um, but, I mean, I can get tired of fruits before I get tired of salad. Really? You can do so much with a salad. Even if it's like, no, it's just lettuce and the, the your typical toss salad, let's say. You have dressings to change it up. You can get croutons. You can get breadsticks. What can you, it, it, this is just fruits. I mean... I, I get tired of it. Would you rather bring John Lennon and George Harrison back to life to reform the Beatles today, or go back to 1963 and go to every Beatles concert from then until 1970 when they broke up? Ooh. I would... This game sucks, because there's not enough context. Like, I don't like the idea of bringing them back to life, because the world... We've gotten used to knowing that they're dead. You bring them back to life... Are, are, okay, now, are they going to be back to life at the age of when they died? Because that could really fuck some shit up. But, would they know they were dead? And if they know they had died, would they still want to continue doing the work? Because you know how John Lennon got towards the end. So, what there? But if I could go back in time and watch all their concerts, am I able to take back... A phone, or, or a phone, uh, any form of way to take photographs, to record, uh, videotape, whatever, and share the experience when I came back to present day. I, I think that's what I'd rather do anyways. I'd rather leave the dead to where they are. Respect the dead. Would you rather store all of your photos on Facebook or store... Okay, I don't know what Flickr is, so I'm going to go to Facebook. I, I, don't, I don't know what Flickr is. I'm not even gonna fucking dwell on that one. Would you rather be homeless and hungry but always loved by your perfect partner or have a fabulous house and amazing food but never be loved or been loved? Never have loved or been loved. Well, of course, most people are gonna go with the whole homeless and hungry, but... I don't like the idea that my loved one is going to be homeless and hungry. Just so we can be loved. I don't want them to go through that. Like, if it was just to be hungry forever, but knowing that they're well taken care of, that's fine. But I would rather have shit and be able to spoil my family. And, and be single than be putting somebody who I care about through that misery. Yeah, I see, I told you, they're gonna go with that without really, truly thinking that one through. Whatever. Would you rather... Live with no electronics or live with no friends? Well... Now, here's the kicker. I'm gonna have somebody particular is gonna see this video. And they're gonna hear what I said that one day where I'm like, no, we're not friends, we're acquaintances. But... I... I do have friends. I do have some. And... I, but I... I'm happiest when I'm with my electronics. Like, I'm happy with them. I really am. But we don't... Everybody's busy now. Everybody has their own life. Everybody has their own events. Their thing... You know, and you can't always get together. But electronics bring us together. So... Whatever. I mean, that, that one's kind of not really definitive either. Because I know some people online... Now, personally, I would consider them a friend if I ever met them. I would totally be like, you're a friend of mine. 
But technically, we're really not truly friends by definition. What's the definition? I'm not gonna look it up. Don't look it up. Don't prove me wrong. Okay. Would you rather eat a snort mustard? Like, Cinnamon and I don't get along. Whatever. Cinnamon and I don't get along. No. I, I'd probably die. Okay. Would you rather have a very attractive spouse that treats you badly or a very ugly spouse that adores you? This is kind of in that same boat. I, but this is all beauty in the eye of the beholder, but... I, I don't want to be treated horribly. I mean, depending on where it's at. I mean, if I'm being treated shitty in the bedroom and it's mutual, then I'm totally cool with that, but... Whatever. That, that's a fucking shitty-ass question. Really? It... Okay. Thank you, ads. You can't see him because I'm editing them out, but fucking ads. That's a stupid-ass question, too. The whole blonde bullshit just... Ugh, whatever. Would you rather be extremely paranoid or extremely naive? Ooh, now this is good. Would you... I'd rather be naive. Already, just thinking about it. Because I wouldn't want to always be, like, doubting somebody's word. Not being able to trust somebody. If they're like, hey, I'll pick you up at, like, 3 o'clock. And, you know, 2.55 and they're not there. And you're already freaking out. And then it's 3.01 and they're not there. And you're just constantly angry. Uh, fuck that shit. No, naive. Totally. Yeah, I'll fuck. Whatever. I'd rather just fall for shit and be stupid. I guess now he's not technically stupid, it's just gullible in a sense. Okay, would you rather live in the Fallout universe or the Skyrim universe? I don't know much about Fallout. I tried playing it, I really didn't get into it, and I, I've always liked fantasy more than, I guess you can call Fallout, Fallout more sci-fi-ish. But, there's a big problem. Skyrim universe, you know, the fantasy shit, they have really big motherfucking spiders. I don't deal with that. Now, I don't know if Fallout has those, but I'm going to go with it because I don't know, so I'm going to say they don't. That's the only thing that's deterring me, is because I don't like spiders at all, and to have them the size of fucking cars, no. No. Okay. Would you rather face Godzilla or face King Kong? Godzilla. Because he could just be like, eh! and I'm dead. Simple enough. Really? Jesus Christ, I am failing this later half. Alright, this is going to be my last one, though, for this video. Would you always... Would you rather always tell the truth or always lie? Now, okay. Can you... Eh, nah, I doubt it. So, well, I don't like always lying because then you could never actually truly get your point across. So, just tell the truth. Yeah, obviously. Okay, I'm not ending on that one. I'm ending on this one. Either way, you get to be a strong black woman. I like Rosa Parks, though. I mean, Harriet Tubman did some awesome shit, but I like Rosa Parks the whole, like, I'm gonna sit here and you're not gonna fucking move me. Yeah. Alright, that's where I'm ending this episode because I'm gonna get myself in a world of hurt. So, see you all later. Stay righteous. I really need to go buy some habaneros so I can play this right. Yep. And have no family, no friends. Oh. Can I already have both? Can I click the ore?